What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Travis, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium walkthrough. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to be going up against Lieutenant Surge. Yes, the Lightning American, the guy will look like... Yeah, that dude right there that looks like a guy from Street Fighter. So, let's go straight to the Pokemon Lab, and let me show you what the next team is going to be. Yes, sir, we're going to be going there, and, uh, well, it's pretty obvious. Actually, no, let's not go there. Let's actually go straight to the Pokemon uh, Gym Leader Castle right here. So, in our last two episodes, we defeated Brock and Misty with various Pokemon that we've used over the last few walkthroughs that we actually played with. So now, in this one right here, we're going to be using our Leaf Green, uh, our Leaf Green team. So, we're going to be putting Executumon, Poliswag, and Thrasher is going to be coming back. Tank number two is here. And, of course, Godzilla. And, well, let's go right ahead and go straight to our Pokemon box right here and go with... Where is Aaliyah? Holy crap, where is Aaliyah? I can't find Aaliyah anywhere. Hold on. I'm finding Aaliyah. Don't worry, guys. I am finding Aaliyah. She's here somewhere. The fuck? And, uh, yes, we are still looking for Aaliyah. Aaliyah, where the heck are you? Huh. Oh, there she is. <laughs> there she is. Okay, so as you can probably tell, we have our Leaf Green team ready to go. Some of these guys don't really have the same, well, the same attacks that we, we've had in the, in the previous walkthroughs right here, but we're going to be going right there, and, well, it's time to battle, guys. So like I said, the last few episodes, we defeated Brock with our yellow team, missed it with a mixture of teams that we've used before, and, uh, well, Surge... We got Surge right here, so let's go right ahead and go in straight into the Vermilion Gym. As you can see, he does have a Sailor, Rocker, Old Man, and him Surge himself. And of course, holy crap, we're not using the rental Pokemon. Hell no. We're going to go straight for our team right here. So as you can see, number three is the Leaf Green team. And uh, well, let's get it started right here, guys. As you can see, the guy has... Uh, well, he has a weakness right there, so let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's see. This is going to be a little tough right here, so he does have a fighting type Pokemon, Psychic, slash Water. We got the majority is Water, so let's go ahead and start off with Aaliyah. Then, uh, you know what? Let's go with Godzilla right here, and uh, let's finish it off with, you know what? Thrasher's going to be there. So, here we go, guys. Battle number three, or gym gym battle number three right here. Here we have Aaliyah, and we're going to be going up against a Shelter. Alrighty, okay, so let's see. Let's go straight with the Thunderbolt. Now, I'm probably just going to remind you guys every single time, but every single episode, we're going to be switching up our Pokemon. We're going to be making sure they have moves that actually work. And, of course, he switches out to Golduck. Luckily for us... Bam! Super effective, and it paralyzes this uh, this Golduck right here. So now, we're going to finish him off one more time. Right here on ESPN. Look at this. Bam! Thunderbolt, critical hit, and there goes Golbat. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at that. Aaliyah's kicking ass. Actually, it gets more wins than, uh, than Sparky right here. So, who's next? Here we have Shelder. And, well, it looks like to me, I'm going to go with Thunder. I'm just going to risk it all, go with Thunder, since it's not really accurate, but it pecks a wall up right here. Here we go, Thunder, super effective, and there goes Shelder. <laughs> Look at that, Aaliyah kicking butt, taking names, that's right. Just like in Pokemon Leaf Green, this girl can actually go, and wow, how could this guy... He chooses all water type Pokemon, so let's go again with one more Thunder. Finish him. Let's go, Aaliyah. Thunder attack for the win. And there goes Krabby, or Crabbler. So look at that, guys. A, a clean sweep. A clean sweep of, uh, of this guy's Pokemon with Aaliyah, the leaf green yellow, or the leaf green Pokemon. Oh my god, look at that. 
Easy victory. Okay, so we're, it's time not it's not to, like time not to get cocky here, but yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to like pick it up right here because this guy has all electric type Pokemon. And well, I do have a good team for that one right there. So let's go right ahead and start off with Thresher. Executumon needs some loving, and you know what? It doesn't hurt to use tank number two right here. So let's go. Bring it on. Right here on ESPN, we got Thrasher. And well, unfortunately for us right now, Magnemite is not a steel type Pokemon. And well, believe it or not. Earthquake does affect uh, affect Magnemite. It doesn't have no levitate, so yeah, we're thinking miles and miles ahead. Whoa, Look at that. Like Earthquake Pokemon does goal. it. Say goodbye to Magnemace. You know, looking at these nicknames that these guys come this out with, yeah, you know, it could serve for like a future goal. reference for nicknames that I have for, for other Pokemon right here. And here he comes oh, out with fire. a Poriace. Now, here's a little bit of a, a conundrum right here. Porygon is a normal type Pokemon, but it is capable of uh, acclimating to the Pokemon it's going up against. So we're going to be going with a submission attack. Let's go. Going and it missed. Good gravy. And it also does have Psybeam attack. So this is... Uh... Oh, damn. This is, uh, this is a bad one right here because we are now confused. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Submission. Gravy. Okay. Uh, damn. Okay, so we're not. Yeah, we're not in a in a good position at all because we have 18 HP. Neither one is. All right, we're gonna have to sacrifice Needle King for this one right here because Porygon is a very very strong Pokemon when used right. And look at that, we get hurt again. Okay, so Porygon has defeated my Thrasher right here. Good gravy. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with Tank 2. Yes, our, our speed's not there yet, but we we do have we do have a lot of HP and a lot of attack right here, so let's see. Let's go with the Seismic Toss. Let's see if that actually works, and if it doesn't, then we are going to have to go with the Body Slam. Try attack does its thing, but guess what? Tank has 391 HP. That won't be a lot, and... Bam, it takes a lot of, uh, well, not a lot of, uh, Porygon's uh, HP, so let's go with a Body Slam, see if it actually uh, paralyzes this guy, since it does have a speed advantage right here, and here we go, try attack again, it's going to have to use a lot of try attacks to beat us right here, so here we go, Body Slam for the win, not so paralyzed, but that's the thing right there. It's going to defeat Porygon, so we're going to have to take one more, one more, uh, try attack right here. All right, go ahead. Try attack. Does its thing. Takes a nice chunk, but guess what? We got body slam. It's going to do its trick for the win. Say goodbye to Poriace. Oh yes. Okay, so it's a back and forth battle right here. Who's gonna win? We will. We will eventually find out right here. And Bazace. Holy crap. Okay, so now we are in a bit of a conundrum right here. So let's go let's go for it all. We're gonna be going for a hyper beam attack, and this guy coming with his thunder punch. And it is not super effective, but it does take a huge chunk. So here we go. Hyper beam for the win. And it does it, it hits it, and there goes Bazace. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's right, the crotch of victory. He's sleeping, but he's still battling. Man, I wish I could do that. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so that is two down. Two more to go, and Ronker has been defeated. Now, Old Man seems to be the one that's always the hardest to go uh, against, so... Here we go, our third battle, and it's going to be against the old man right here, and he has, uh, oh wow, he has an interesting team, so ground-type Pokemon are going to take care of this guy, so we're going to start with uh, Thrasher, okay, let's see, he does have some fire-type Pokemon, so Poliswag is going to be in there, and well, let's go right ahead and use... You know what? Gajila is a good Pokemon to actually have right here. So here we go, guys. Battle number three, and it's against the old man, and we're going to be coming with Thrasher yet again. 
And here comes a Charmeleon. Alrighty, okay, so let's see who's faster right here. Let's go right ahead and use an Earthquake attack. Alright. Bring it. We are faster. Thank you, Jeebus. And that is super effective. And say goodbye to Charmeleon. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Let's go. It is a one-sided affair right now. And, well... Here comes a Nidoran female, so yeah, this guy probably chose all poison type Pokemon, all weaknesses to Nidor or to uh, Nido King right here. So let's go right ahead and take advantage of this whole thing with Bam, Earthquake Attack. He's looking up to the sky, knowing that he has won. Say goodbye to Nidoran female. Yeah, buddy. What now? And here comes the last Pokemon. I thought this guy was supposed to be tough, and here he comes out with a Nidoran male, so... Okay, smooth sailing for all of us. Let's go with another Earthquake attack for the win. Finish him. And there goes Nidoran male. Yeah, buddy. Oh, damn. Now, it really pays me just to beat these Pokemon with the type of Pokemon I have. And look at that. Nido King does his thing. He is feeling victorious. And look at that. A clean sweep. Say goodbye to the old man. This enables us to go up against Guile from Street Fighter or Lieutenant Surge. Alrighty. Bring it, Lieutenant Surge. What's up? And yes, just as predicted, he has all electric old Pokemon. So. Let's go with a Thrasher right here. Now, let's try not to get cocky here. They may be Electric-type Pokemon, but they are a little bit faster than all of us right here. So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to have to go with Tough Pokemon. So, yes, we're going to have to go with our toughest Pokemon just to get the, get through this guy. So, here we go. Thrasher ready to take it. And, of course, he's going up against... We're going up against an Electro. Now, this guy is capable of sacrificing some Pokemon to beat us. As you can see, self-destruct hits us pretty hard. Damn. Now, that might be a foolish move to use, but that is a very, very strategic because Electric-type Pokemon are faster than my Thrasher right here, so he is going to be coming out with his Voltorb. Now, this guy might be using another self-destruct. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a, an Earthquake attack. See if we're faster. No, and here comes a, an Explosion attack. So, yeah, that takes care of Thrasher right there. Beats us, but he gives us an, a 2-1 advantage right here. Okay, so this is looking like a battle right here, so let's go right ahead and use Executumon. I know that I got Tank right there, but I kind of want to use Tank's HP as a, you know, as a means to an end right here. That way he doesn't beat us that quickly, and here he comes out with Raichu. Now this is all this is all he needs to beat us. So let's go right ahead and huh. You know what? Stun Spore. Let's think strategic, not just foolishly. And here he comes with a Body Slam, capable of paralyzing us. And it does. Holy crud. Okay, so here we go. Stun Spore attack. Two can play at that game, and it does it. Okay, so now we're both paralyzed, but this gives me a little bit more of an advantage right here. So now, let's power up this Solar Beam right here. And here comes another Body Slam attack. For the win. Takes a huge chunk out of our HP, but here we go. Taking a lot of sun. Come on! Survive the next move, man. Executumon looking like a beast right here. And here comes another body slam from Raichu. And that nearly takes us out. Come on! Get him! Solar Beam attack for the win! And it's a critical hit. There goes Raichu. See you guys, think strategic, not so harshly. Look at that. Woo! And just like that, our Pokemon Leaf Green team just mops the floor with the electric type gym. Holy crap. So there we go, guys. We defeated uh, Lieutenant Surge. That opens up the next gym, which is, I believe, Erica's gym. Holy crud. Okay. So look at that, guys. Erica's gym has been open. 
Wow, that was probably the easiest gym battle. The Misty gym battle was a little bit tough. Brock was uh, okay, so... Wow. So, anywho, guys. Uh, yeah. In the next episode, we will be going up against Erica, the uh, Celadon City gym leader. And, well... It looks like, to me, I'm going to mix a team... A concocted team for this one right here. So, uh, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going up against Erica and her, her squad right here. See you guys.